Hi, I'm Jake with TradeLab.ai. Today, we're going to be talking about how to set up David Tech Strategies in TradeLab. This is going to be a quick tutorial. I've done a longer video explaining all the uh, details about how to set up a strategy. We're just going to run through the steps very quickly here. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Community Strategies on the left side, and then we're going to scroll down until we find the David Tech Strategies. Today, I'm going to set up a combo template, so I'm just going to click on Copy. I'm going to click Yes. This will bring us back to the My Strategy screen. We can click Edit on our template. And now the Strategy Setup screen will appear. This will tell us that we have to follow five steps to set up our alerts. We'll click Do It Now. The first thing it's going to ask us is to select our exchange. If you haven't set up your exchange, you can do so in the settings screen. Then we'll select our symbol. I'm going to choose BAT today. And uh, the rest you can leave default. 99% of the time, we don't need to change these. For more information, you can watch the full setup video. OK, now it's going to show us our five different steps. We're just going to go ahead and click on the first one and read the instructions. It says, open the indicator settings in Trading View and scroll down to find the alert section. There should be four input boxes. So if we open up our uh, David Tech strategy, I have a big extender here in Trading View. When we scroll down, we'll find the alerts section. You'll notice that we have two alert sections. This bottom one we won't use. We do support multiple take profits, but we don't need extra alerts for them. So we'll just go back to Trade Lab and continue reading the instructions. It says copy the message into the API entry long text box. So we'll just click on the message to copy it. And then we'll go ahead and paste this into this box. If we go back to Trade Lab and press back, we'll go to the second step and we'll copy the message and paste this as well. We'll continue this for all of the messages. And now that that's done, we can press OK. We can go back to Trade Lab. We'll hit Back. And the last thing we need to do is click on our David Tech uh, TV alert. And we can read the instructions. It says, create a new alert in Trading View and match the settings below. So if we go to Trading View and we click uh, plus on Create Alert, it'll pop up this box. And we can continue reading the instructions. It says, pick any David Tech strategy and select order fills only. So if we go to the top here, under condition, we can select our David Tech strategy, and then it says order fills only. OK, make sure that you set your expiration time or select open ended. And then we can copy the webhook URL, paste that in right here. We can also copy the name, paste that in, and we'll copy the message and paste that in. OK, now we'll click Create. And we'll see our David Tech Alert, the second one that I just created, pop up right here. So we're good to go there. Now we can hit Back on Trade Lab and click All Done. The next thing we need to talk about is setting up the amount. So you can set up your amount with percentage USD or coin. If you say percentage at 5%, It'll take 5% of your balance. That for me would be $42. Uh, and it'll show me with the two uh, times leverage, my estimated order size is 115 bat at the reference price of 73 cents per coin. OK, so we also need to set up our order type. You can either select limit or market. And if you select limit, then you need to make sure that your time in force is either good till close or you can also do immediate or cancel. Um, and then uh, we also have limit offset and limit timeout um, options as well down in the advanced settings. Once that's all set up, you can click save and exit. And we've now created a David Tech combo template and it's looking for entry and it's ready to run. That's all we need to do to set up a David Tech strategy. If you have any more questions, feel free to watch the longer video or join us on Discord. You can also click the help button down on the right, search for any questions or create a support ticket to ask us a question. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more updates.